hi all so today in this video we'll be learning about uh, how we can use pytests uh, for parameterizing our test so for example we want to parameterize with some given set of data and uh, it can be like um, I mean like uh, like kind of data driven approach right so it should run from some given data it's not like we will be using any external files from where we are driving it but here we will be using uh, some kind of fixture uh, and we'll just, just like uh, if you were coming from selenium if if may find like data driven I mean data provider right so uh, the same kind of thing we will be doing here with the help of parameterize option okay I mean it's uh, I will be explaining a data provider is a bit different I think from this one but it's not like that but it, it can be uh, parameterized option is also available in test engine right so uh, it is almost sim similar to that okay so let me go to the PyTest official website and let me show you so what we'll be going to do so here we will be adding this kind of tag okay by the red by test dot mark dot parameterize and then we'll be passing test input so this is the input I mean which you are passing and then, then this is the expected value and here we are passing the value I mean like 3 plus 5 which should be equals to 8 so we are giving the input and getting the output as 8 expected so this thing they, they have tested it like this okay so let me go to the pie charm and we have already three tests right so let me do one thing um, uh, let me create a copy of this test okay I'm not modifying anything in the existing test so test and this should be also part of a regression let's do that that's fine uh, let's <coughs> reformat it and then let's add at the rate by test dot parameterize uh, no sorry mark dot parameterize okay so what scenario you are going to cover right so basically we will be doing uh, like uh, we have this website right source demo so here what you can try like we can try uh, I mean for example we know like standard user is going to log in right so for example we have different types of data is available right I mean different types of email and username sorry username and passwords are available so we'll be trying with those different combinations okay so we let's say we got five or six uh, different different users okay and we have to verify whether the, those users can log in or not that's it if they can log in then the test should pass and if they cannot log in then the test should fail okay something like that I mean that's the expected failing failure is expected and because that's that's what that's uh, how uh, this we have to test okay so if the like, let's say standard user is getting passed and let's say uh, this problem user okay or logged out user this logged out user should be should not level to log in so this should fail that's it okay so let's try it so first we need to give the username I mean which should, should be a parameter comma uh, password okay and one more thing like uh, I think login is done in the setup module right so let's go to the contest first and here what we have to do uh, we need to use this one because here we are not doing the login no login so let's use it here and use it here and from this part let's copy it and give it to him I mean just paste it here so um, so we 
do the parameter okay and uh, so okay so we have to use this way and then so we need to create one list right so comma list and then within we have to use a tuple and within tuple we need to use this value what value we are giving so we are giving standard user first although we are using stand, I mean we have already tested with standard user but it's just for example purpose so um, let's use double quote okay so this is the username and the password is secret sauce so next comma the next one this is logged out user and secret sauce okay so we just added two user and two passwords so here first user credentials and the second user's credentials and uh, let's add one more so it can be anything like we can use some kind of dummy user and the next one is dummy password okay so it should fail okay and here we have to add this too so this is our parameter which we are passing okay let me go to the pytest fixture and let me check it uh, yes they have used this way right okay now okay now let's run it and check whether it's working or not but before that we have to use this here because this is the username and this password you are using so we have not you are earlier we were hard, hard coding it right in the first test we did hard coding I mean in the contest uh, even here we have also hard coded it so now we are not hard coding it it is driven by from this parameterized part okay so so we use the username and here we use the password clicked on it and we have to verify whether it's user is able to log in or not okay so let's run it let's give it a give it, give it a try and log in with different credentials okay so so let's execute just one no need to do this thing so what you can do we go to contest and just checking it uh, here we are not passing the URL so let's do that let's copy it I mean we are not using the base URL now so I just wanted to make it simple so we just execute pytest minus s minus v even that is also not required this part we can also delete it so pytest does does headed and then we can uh, give a flag called uh, like which browser we can use so we can use the browser channel equals to Chrome so we want to tr want to execute in Chrome browser and uh, here anything is we need to give so yeah so we just want to execute this test right we do not need to execute the other test so for that what we can do we have to go to this folder first so yeah 
by test fw and then test 01 source demo so next colon colon test 04 okay so let's execute it so let's see yep so just one test case got executed with three i mean not one test case but three tests got executed but they it only picked this one only right so although it you can see like browser open and close for three times but uh, what happens like there are three users right so for each users it is executing one time so first time it will execute one with the standard user the next time it will execute with the logged out user and the third time it will execute with the dummy user so that is why it is saying two failed and one passed because this one is only getting passed right so let me uh, okay let me expand it and now what i have done it's saying like here it is failing okay assertion failed so unable to log in for two times so okay now next thing is like uh, we have done this three test right so I mean now if I execute full scenarios all the scenario, all the tests right then in that case it should be like three plus three six scenarios right so our test case count got exit got increased within just three you have written only three I mean total four tests but actually it is giving us six test cases okay now what I want like I want to uh, I do not want this fail, right? It is fail means it's fail, right? Your build, build. Will, I mean, when you execute in through pipeline, then it should be, it will be become, it will become red. The build, build will be failed, right? So there, this, this, this will not become green. So, but we know like it is expected. I mean, this two one is this two failed is expected for us. I mean, it should fail. So how can I, ex I mean, say this to the spy test like? okay uh, don't fail it just mark it as like expected failure so we have something like x fail which is like expected failure uh, we can use it so we can see this usage here so we need to make give this like uh, for the one which we wanted to i mean for the parameter these are the parameter right so uh, we need to use this one okay so para pytest dot param so what we have to do uh, use this pytest dot param and within that we need to pass this to and then after that we need to say mark marks pytest dot mark dot xfil let's write it pytest dot mark dot xfil okay and similarly we can do this for it so pytest dot param and then we can add it here so marks equals to pytest dot mark dot xfil and here we need to use so this is the function I mean pytest dot parameter within that we are putting all these three values so first value is the user I mean first parameter is the username and the next one is password and the second third parameter is marks equals to pytest dot mark dot xfil okay so so this method actually param method is actually taking uh, a star I mean keyword arguments okay so yeah I mean it is like the value we are passing yeah So now let's run it and see whether we are getting failure or not. So as you can see one passed and two x failed. So this time our I mean 
uh, if you run it through pipeline then your build will not fail it will be passed okay and uh, so let's execute one more time with all the scenarios so we can try this one but this time our base url will not work but we can try i mean i actually removed it but do not I mean, it's fine i mean i'm just removing it now so let's see whether it's working or not So it's, it, it is executing it slowly because of the slow motion we have added. Otherwise, playwright is pretty much fast. And uh, as you can see, 2x failed and 4 passed, right? And also here we can see detailed output, everything. So, yeah. And let me open the report. browser chrome so here you can see source demo website name and then 3.9.6 everything there and here also we can see this x field and okay okay we are not able to see any output right so let's add i mean earlier we have added i don't know why it is not there Okay, fine. Uh, we need to add one uh, thing. Okay, so uh, that I have give, so shown in the previous video. So for that, I mean, because it is not coming because of that tag we have not added. Okay, that's it. We can check it. You can try it out from your end uh, with that flag and see whether some all the details are coming or not for the X field or not. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And please like, share, and subscribe.